Hello everyone and welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out on the Nintendo Switch in this upcoming week. We'll be going from the 29th of August up to the 4th of September it will be and last week saw some interesting releases so it'll be good to see how this week holds up in comparison. One more thing before we get started, I haven't been very well this week unfortunately, nothing serious, it's all good but I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. I must sound like I'm holding my nose while I'm doing this, I'm not I can assure you but hopefully it's not too off putting and next week I'm sure I'll be right as rain. Anyway, with all that said, let's get started. First up for this week, then we have a game called Collapsed, which is coming out on the 29th, selling for £13.49, although there is a 15% pre-order discount on that up until the 28th. This describes itself as a roguelike platformer set in a post-apocalyptic world, and judging by the trailer, you'll have a variety of weapons to pick up, a skill tree to invest points into, and I believe you have four different character classes to choose from as well, I'm sure I read that somewhere. Gameplay-wise, it seems to be very much standard fare in terms of a roguelike, with you traversing platforms, taking on enemies, fighting bosses, dying and doing it all over again if necessary. The gameplay actually reminds me very much of Dead Cells, at least in terms of what the trailer shows, but has an art style that reminds me of another roguelite on the Switch actually, called Fury Unleashed. And next on the 1st of September, we have Ari and the Secret of Seasons. Now, Ari, or Ariel as she's fully known, sounds like something Sebastian from The Little Mermaid would say, is a young girl who acts as the protagonist in this story, which is set in the world of Valdi. You need to become the guardian of winter, gaining the ability to manipulate the seasons, thereby solving a variety of obstacles and environmental puzzles to move on through the levels. I think this game's been in development for about three years now, and definitely has a really nice look to it. It evokes memories of classic GameCube, PS2, Xbox 3D platformers, and I mean that as a compliment, I'm not talking about the graphical style or saying it looks outdated, I just mean it almost has a nostalgic feel to it when you see the game in action. It's costing £34.99, so quite a higher price point, although I do believe this one's getting a physical release as well. It'll be interesting to see how this one turns out when it releases, as I said, on the 1st of September. Next, also on the 1st of September, we have MX vs ATV All Out. Now, this is a series that's been going for a while. In fact, it's two series that have been merged, those being MX Unleashed and ATV Off-Road Fury. It's an off-road racing game where you will race on a variety of terrains using a variety of vehicles. This particular version says it has two-player split screen as well as eight-player online. You can compete in various modes such as Supercross, The Nationals, Open Cross, Waypoint, Tag and more. You need to master a variety of stunts and contest your limits in freestyle mode and upgrade and tune your vehicles with original performance parts. It also mentions that you can compete in massive open worlds and it'll be really interesting to see how that particular element of the game pans out. It sells for £34.99 and again as I said it comes out on the 1st of September. Next up then we have a game called Piffle. Now I thought the word Piffle was a really polite way of saying someone thought you were talking absolute crap, but there we go, that's the name of this game. This is a puzzle game which looks to blend Buster Move or Puzzle Bubble as it's otherwise known, with perhaps a bit of Arkanoid as well, as it definitely seems to have some sort of brick breaking element to it too. You need to line up your cats and then launch them at a variety of blocks, destroying them in the process and then obviously moving on to the next level. Now I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying this was a mobile game to start with, and I'm also fairly sure that it had in-app purchases in that particular model. It looks as if all that's been stripped out. £15.99 though is incredibly expensive for what was once free to play, although it does have 30% off of that price up until the 1st of September. I was fairly intrigued by this one, I'm a big fan of Buster Move or Puzzle Bobble, but that price is really putting me off, I've got to be honest. Either way, this one comes out on the 2nd of September. And then also on the 2nd of September, we have a game called Mask of Mists. This is a first person action adventure game where you play as a mercenary assigned to find a missing person. You'll be exploring ancient ruins, mysterious caves and abandoned houses, fighting with magical creatures, collecting items and trying to solve puzzles. 
Whilst there's nothing inherently wrong with this one from the trailer I've just watched, it just looks incredibly generic. There's nothing about it that leaps out at all for me, and when a trailer boasts that you'll need to solve complex puzzles only to then show someone turning a valve and draining some water, alarm bells start ringing to be honest. At £13.49 this one's not really revving my engine, but you do get 20% off that price up until launch if it is one that interests you. And next, certainly one of the more interesting ones of the week for me, this is Under the Jolly Roger. This is an open world pirate ARPG, which gives you the chance to free roam across three continents filled with dozens of colonies, taking on hundreds of quests whilst plundering ships on the way. It says you can trade, fight, explore, or call friends to do the same with you. Although it is a one player game, so by friends I'm assuming it means your colleagues or allies within the game, not your actual real life friends. That's a shame. It says there is limitless sailing in real time, a system of leveling up your pirate, and as I already mentioned, hundreds of quests. You can also set foot on land to plunder and try to find treasure. Obviously, it remains to be seen if it's as good as it sounds, but this could fill a huge pirate-shaped hole, Assassin's Creed 4 aside, if it is any good. It's selling for £16.19, but does have 20% off that price up until its release date of the 3rd of September, and I've got my fingers crossed that this one pulls through. I really would hate to be disappointed by this. Then also on the third we have a game called Niche, a genetics survival game. This game costs £16.19 although again does have a pre-order discount, quite a few of these this week, 10% off until launch day. Now this game has been out elsewhere for a few years I believe and I think it was a Kickstarter originally. It sees you having to evolve your own animal species based on real genetics, having to survive and explore a variety of biomes. It says it's a blend of turn-based strategy and simulation, also involving roguelike elements and sees you shaping your own species of either a cat, fox, bear or dog-like animal. There is a dynamic world in which to test your skills and over 100 genes to shape your species. I think it's great to have a game like this on the Switch, that kind of godlike simulation game where you evolve a species over time. And this one in particular has incredibly positive reviews elsewhere, I've just read a few of them. I'm not quite sure about the turn-based part, that's the only part that would put me off slightly, it just depends how that works I suppose. But it's great to have a bit more variety on the Switch in terms of the genres available. If you have played it before, please do let us know if it's any good. Then we have a game called Spinch, an incredibly psychedelic looking platformer. You need to enter a world of thick, bubbling psychedelia, as per the blurb, descending deep into a new ecology teeming with multiple pathways, luminous levels and complex obstacles. You play as Spinch, a hyper-agile organism consumed by the quest to rescue its litter of missing offspring. And the blurb continues by saying that it's bringing back old school difficulty. You'll need to replay sections until you master your timing and will be dashing, dodging, climbing, swimming and jumping as you take on six bosses across six worlds. It most certainly has a Super Meat Boy vibe to it and my reflexes are just not up to it these days in games like this, but if yours are, it certainly looks lovely enough and it releases on the 3rd of September. Next then on the 4th of September we have Layer of the Clockwork God. This is selling for £15.49 but it's another game that does have a pre-order discount, 15% up until launch. Right, this one says that it is a game which merges two genres together, something I'm sure we've all heard many times before, but this one is going for point and click adventure games and run and guns I think, and certainly platformers if not. Don't think I've seen that before, not that I can think of anyway. This is about a person called Ben, who's an old school adventure game fan, has one foot stuck in the 90s and is happy collecting any old junk he can lay his hands on. Sounds a bit like me. 
He has his cohort and psychic Dan, who has aspirations to be the next indie platforming character. He's hip, sensitive, and his nose is a different colour to the rest of his face. That sounds a bit like Mark. This could be a game about switch up. You need to switch between the two characters using their unique abilities to stop all of the apocalypses happening simultaneously by teaching an old computer about feelings. I don't know what I've just read, to be honest. Solve classic point and click puzzles as Ben to create unique upgrade items for Dan so he can jump higher run faster and shoot everything basically. Okay, that sounds quite cool. If they merge the two styles together seamlessly, it could be a lot of fun. The problem for me would be that the price is nowhere near an impulse buy. And the final game for the week, this is Paradise Killer. This comes out on the 4th as well and sells for £15.49, but again does have a pre-order discount, 20% this time, actually goes up to the 11th of September. It sees a murder happening on an island, there are a variety of suspects and it also mentions that it's open world and you can go about finding clues. It certainly has quite a zany cast of characters if the trailer is anything to go by and also has quite a psychedelic look to it. There's a few games that seem to go for that style this week. Again, it's hard to judge sometimes by a trailer just how well a game will merge certain elements of a few different genres together and this would certainly fall in that category for me. But on the flip side of that, it's always nice to see a few different ideas being tried in games. so that's it for this week 10 games highlighted please do let me know if any of these games interest you or your thoughts on any of the games that i've mentioned again sincere apologies for the way i sound i've been editing as i go along and it sounds horrendous i do apologize hopefully i'll be fighting fit for next week and sound my usual self Anyway, a quick thank you to our patrons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe and until next time, happy gaming.